I want the whole cheekbone area and the whole cheek in my, my mm -hmm. lap line. And I want to do under my eyes as well. Okay. And my um my lap line. Okay. That just might be more than one vine. Well, I don't know if she Bring it down my lap line. Bring it down my, like, here. Bring it all the way down and up under. Up under a little bit. Well, because it's not a real passage, I guess they will. They have a book like that. I mean, there was a block that didn't. I don't know. Like, if you can bring it like here. Yeah, it's there. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm just getting my mind. Right and up under that, I'd say. Have a line. See when I do this? Mm-hmm. That's both. Ask her. Mm -hmm. Even still. Because those wanna... lines, if you fill them in, they're still gonna do that because your your forehead is still gonna move. What your forehead moving is what's causing those lines. Not like they exist by themselves, no, because when your forehead is is without movement, I can't see any lines. It's only when you move, and that's what both talk things to do, it stops that movement so that the lines don't get deeper. But there's a person I seen on YouTube who can get, she had um, fillers. I don't think she got Botox. My whole face got lit. <laughs> Which one is over here? Oh, yeah, I just want to talk to you for a second. Let me just find a I have my video thingy, it's okay? I gotta always have it. I gotta set it back up. Okay. Y'all hold on, I gotta set up my camera.
things. All right, so I just want us to look in the mirror together. Okay. So let me just talk to you about a couple of things. When we're talking about the forehead, and your hair is really pretty. Thank you. Yeah, I did it. I love it. It looks fantastic. I can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I really don't have. I have pink I, hair. I job. totally do not do anything with this. But just <laughs> <laughs> coils. Just coils. Um. Okay. Raise your brows. Okay. You see those lines? Yes. And do you see how they are more pronounced when you raise your brows? Yes. Okay. Those lines are being created because of muscle movement. Yeah. Because I was like, have the mask on my face and I was squinting. Okay. And okay. Stuff. Okay. So regardless of what, it's just the, the bottom line. Can I say that? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. I'm just trying to... It's okay. But the bottom line is that when it comes to the forehead, mm -hmm. what's causing those lines mm -hmm. Is muscle movement and the way to eliminate those lines is by paralyzing the muscle okay okay that is how not much is the, how much is what we're talking about so what we're I gotta get there because yeah. I, mean, right. I don't want to do it but I want those lines to not be there yeah right. okay. I'm trying to battle age here I yeah. get it I get it and okay. actually that's really the best way to right. be honest because right. it's preventative as well right so um, that would be Botox, and it would probably be about somewhere between 25, 20 and 25 units. So that averages to about $250. Okay. And I can come back for that another day? 100%. Because it has nothing to do with what I'm getting today. Right. Which is something so, totally different. Now, what are we working on today? Today I'm going to work on my lines, and I just came to get yeah. mm -hmm, my laugh lines. And trying to maybe work on correcting this deep contour I put by with the when I wore the contour. It was better for me not to wear have, have worn makeup, but I want it to be rounded. Let me see if I can get you a picture of what I had. Because I do want it to be more when I smile, I want it to come back and be chunky. I want chunky cheeks, like at the bottom, like frown. Let me see. Okay, because what, what we're talking about here now, we're also addressing a different thing. That's still, this is filler when we're talking about lower faces, always we're talking and about puff filler, right? So out here, this is filler. In the cheekbones, this is filler. Okay, but before I know you had one interested in like um a sharper jawline we do fillers because we want it to be enhanced or dehanced right yeah but it depends on what what I you're trying to, to accomplish right this back out but like you see how my cheeks is, is yeah you see this is this where you're talking about you see how my cheeks go like puff like yeah. that okay i want to start to fill it because i want this to be curved not indentation so I'm going to be honest with you, I can't do that. What can you do? Because this area of the face, there's nothing that holds it, unfortunately. So therefore, when you fill it with filler, it simply goes. It's like a complete 100% waste of your money. I have no way of really being able to puff this out. So how do we want. bring visual away from that? We just keep filling here. Was this, what, this has always been like this? Mm -hmm. Really? My mm -hmm. face is just more, that's just the way, the way, the way it is. Okay. I mean, because I feel like my face is like... So what happens here, what ha what starts to happen here, mm -hmm. is the fat pad that we have there, mm -hmm. That's we start to lose it, basically. And especially if you've lost any weight at all, or if you fluctuate in your weight at all, then you're going to notice that in your face. But and you can still put notice. a filler if I want it to be here, right? Even no. if it's wasted? No. Why? Because I'm not going to do work that I can't stand by. Oh, you don't, they're not allowed to do that? It's not that I'm not allowed to do that, but my point in doing work is so that not only are you come satisfied today, but that when you, a month from now, you're not going to say, she put filler in my face and it's gone. I don't see any difference. So you're you telling me, what I'm saying? and I'm recording it, and I'm, that's what I have Yeah, yeah come back So instead of, it, instead of you bringing it out, you can make it so that, you see how, it's, you see how the meat is different, like you see a line here. You see it? Like. Right. This is your natural face. This is how your muscles and your fat falls. Okay. Do you how do we not have those looking like that? Because it's it's more of a. This is how your natural fat pads are falling. This is the way that, you know, age in general works, right? We have natural fat pads that are usually up here. 
And as we age, this is the stuff that's falling. This is, is that facelift? Is that considered facelift? So if you don't want this, then you have to be able to bring it in from here. If you don't want this, you have to bring it in through the cheek in order to make this not be so puffed out. Okay, how do we do that? Yes, that isn't working in the cheek. And that's what the filler is? Yes. Okay, let's go do that. Lift my face up. Okay, but it's more than just lifting your face up. I need you to understand that that is also working in the cheek, okay? So what's gonna happen is your cheek, you're gonna have more of an apple cheek or more of a like roundedness in the cheek. Just so is that when what you, you do really the fillers want? here, maybe we can decide later, like as we're going, because I want it to maybe if you just fill right here, I'll be okay. Maybe it was just time for me to come back and get fillers. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to panic. I'm trying to understand when I get the fillers, because I, I normally see an immediate yeah, thing. That's what's I, lovely what I about noticed, fillers. What I noticed right here is that the line actually is going from it's my nostril. Yeah. Once I start to see that dip, it mm -hmm. gives me time. And I don't see that it needs to be filled here, but I can see that it needs to be filled here. So I'm like, okay, maybe if I just come and back over here again and fill up, it'll puff it. And it will change the appearance of the face. Yeah, we can always puff this out a little bit. But what you're talking about down here, to really affect a little bit more change in that, mm -hmm. you would be better suited if we came up on the cheek because then it would be less noticeable this it's not that it's gone it doesn't go away however I want this working... indentation to be you see how I turn this way and I see a line right here I want this indentation that's right here to not be when I turn I see it so I guess that's fill first fill and then if we need to go there then you right. think that will help so, that will help here it helps when we when we do this with your cheek, mm -hmm. that also helps. It helps, do you see how this, but you have to be willing to want also that your your cheeks get fuller. I got plenty of cheeks. I like my cheeks. I never really have a problem with my cheeks. I just have a problem with the laugh line. Right now I don't see a laugh line. It's not predominant, but to prevent you know what I'm saying? Like, what I'm gonna do? Go from go from the go from the juvederm instead of doing juvederm. I'm gonna end up doing filler like Botox here, Botox here. You know what I'm saying? No. 200, 400, 600. Botox doesn't go here. Okay, what where where does Botox normally go? In the forehead. Only the forehead. Forehead, um, glabellar, and lines around the eyes, which are not there yet. No, I'm not there. No, I don't, you're not. I don't like this one. What about up under this eye area? Is that filler or is that um? Botox. This is usually filler. Can you do something right here? Because what I'm getting is not more so from sleeping, but I want a slight fill right here because when I do my makeup, I start to see a line in it. That's not the, what the filler helps with. Okay. It really helps with this valley over here. And for some people, they have like very pronounced dark circles, and that's where it helps with as well. In your case, you don't really have that. So it won't make a, dra it won't make a dramatic difference for you. So don't do that yet? That's not where you're gonna get the most out of your filler. Cause it makes me not wanna wear eyeliner so much, but I still kind of wanna wear eyeliner. So I, the, the mask is shading a lot. You yes. know what I'm saying? So it's preventing me from really getting a good look at my face and at the same time being able to really justify exactly what it is that I want. Like I, maybe I don't need anything, you know? Maybe I don't need the lines and the fillers, but I'm seeing chunkiness that I can grab. Like I can grab this. I don't mm -hmm. want this grab. I don't want to be able to grab or see that I have a grab here that I didn't have before. Mind you, I've, I've, I've lost weight mm -hmm. so that can have a play in it as well. That's definitely gonna so, have a play in it. Yeah, because right now we're going, I'm 14. When, when we're up and down in our weight, it also changes the way the fat falls in our face. And I agree with you. And those things cannot, you can't bring it back. Right. And I, then can't, I, also, I can't put it back where no, it was. You don't have to. No, no, no. But what I I'm saying wanna, in general, that's how it, how that works. Well, first let's do, let's stay with the laugh lines first. And then let's, you tell me what you think. Okay. Okay. That, that part's easy. Okay. I just want to let you know what other things that are available. If to get the optimal effect here, mm -hmm. working in the cheek, 
also but helps. I can't see past the fat the, the flatness of the stick mm -hmm. I can mm -hmm. need a few tips mm -hmm. you know my goal is to go, go to school for doctor right mm -hmm. yeah like what you do mm -hmm. that's what I gotta learn all right okay now let's do this so by doing this it helps this not be so pronounced. It gives you a little bit more of a, like a, like a balance. Oh, I feel like one of my eyes is lower than the other. Look. Okay, I'm listening. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like one of my eyes. Look at my eye. It looks lower over here and higher over here. It's just You know we're all asymmetrical, awkward. Unless right? it's the lighting. I don't know. It might be the lighting. I don't want to go asymmetrical. I want to be, be symmetrical. <laughs> I want to be symmetrical. <laughs> I'm listening. Okay. Okay, anyway. All right. So we'll start with this. Okay, this, this is, there's not anything I can do for this. Can you, can you deflate? Because if I have fillers. This is a fat pad, this is a fat pad here. Once you do the filler, you think it'll soften it? It'll soften it here, just because this will be filled in. Right. So you won't maybe see this as noticeably. Okay. Just because this is also filled in. Okay, so let's do that first. And then you think that me working, you working, you said you want to work up, where would you be doing insertion? For the filler and the cheek in here. Right there only? In here, right here. Right on the bone. What I'm talking about goes right on the bone. So right here. And how long does you it see last? That? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm talking about? Uh, cheekbone. Yeah. Here. Right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And here. So here, here. It lasts about a year. Which one would fall first? Because right now my lap line fillers, they really, I really don't see no hard definition. Like, they're not there. Yeah, they Yeah, they look good. I just, wanna, I, I just wanna make sure I keep them filled then, you know. That way when it gets to about this area, we can come back again. Like, okay, keep it, keep it puffy. I like it puffy, I like it. I like the fat. I like that fat, that fat puff that I love. I, just, I would wanna see more of that puffiness here because I felt like, um, when it deflated, what, like, I have this picture. I don't want to end my video, but hold on. I'm coming back, y'all. Let me see if I can find this video. It was one time that I was, like, in the bathroom, and let me go on Facebook. I might have it on Facebook. And I don't know. My face just looked it swollen, but in a good way swollen. Like, I, I approved of it looking swollen. Like, hold on. I don't, I don't know where I could find this at. Let me try do you guys need this room? You have to let me know. No, no. Alright, let me get my stuff. Okay. Should I get my bag and stuff? Are we gonna do it in here? Um You wanna do it? Um uh, no, I think I'll do it over here instead. Go that way. Oh my face is new. Yeah, okay, hold on. I'm trying. Yeah, that's the hardest part of working on the face and stuff. Because, you know, you want it to be perfect. I'll come back later, though. Like, I don't like, I want it, okay. Because I heard that they come out with new, with new types of fillers. I, I really want it to be a filler. And what do you think about this, this, this Hyaluron pen? What, what's up with that? It's all right. Do you going to do it? Are you going to do it for people? No, I don't need to add anything else to the armamentarium of what I got already. Oh, okay. I like to it works. do what I'm doing. I know it works. I've been doing it for a long time. The Hyaluron pen? Mm-mm. The filler is what they Yeah. What do you suggest, though, for that? For that, If I was to get the Hyaluron pen, you'd think that that's not good to mix different chemicals, or does no, it matter? No, it's not that. I think the Hyaluron pen is great for overall skin texture. But can I put it here if I wanted to play around Probably. with this area? Okay, yeah. that's a good thing. Then. But where do you think that, if I did the Hyaluron pen, can you kind of point to where I would put the Hyaluron pen only in this area? Because I, I would like to know how to space it out. And I gotta see if I can find that picture. I 
Maybe need a Q-tip so I can wipe my eye area. You have a Q-tip? <laughs> my bad. Can you give me another one? Sorry, you know how you be talking and you be having stuff in your eye crevice? And it just be there. People just be like, oh, it's nasty, it's nasty. I'm still talking to you, but it's nasty, it's nasty. Oh, I can throw this yes, here. Yes, you can throw it right in there. Thank you. All right, I'm looking for, there's a picture that I had that was in the bathroom. And, like, you see how my fats look here? I look cute here. Like, look, I had just got the fillers. I look new. That was one. This one I actually was, like, okay. That wasn't bad. That wasn't horrible, right? That looks very good. I think I can go one more this way. Wait, let me come back this way. The angles is off with that one, right? Hold on. It's like it's not not that it was bad. And now that I look at it, it's not bad. You know, no, I like the fats in the in the front. But do you, I just if I could stay looking like that, I wouldn't be mad. Hold on, let me try to keep finding this picture. <laughs> Price and all that. But that's a pretty decent price if that's the case. Very decent price, actually. Hold on. I like. I don't know, how did I close myself on making my own food today? Like, how did I do that? I think I would just do right here, it would be alright, but I want a good amount of it. Like right here in the last line area. This is a good picture. I found one picture that I like. I like it fuller like that. It could, if it could be like full, like I like that. That's not bad. I really think I look nice right there. And if I can get this to go back again, just that this phone is, I don't, okay, there we go. That's one. Um, Let me just grab the mirror that you can Handhold. Okay. This picture I like in the fillers. Like this was right after. I want to stay, keep my face looking like that without the eyebrows because it's hard to get the eyebrows done. Let me just focus the time.
and I gotta get me a phone case right now too for my phone so I can have it in the right case. I found the picture that I was talking about. Wait, okay, hold on. I'm coming. Look. This one. If I could, without my eyebrows being done. I like that. Just, and we was only doing like the last one. Are you listening? Uh -huh. Not too mad at me. Oh, I don't want to be in the thing. So. Go ahead. Can I just uh -huh. get this? Yeah, you can. Thank you. Yeah, this is fine. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is just like what we did last night. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. We can just stay consistent. We don't have to overdo with the cheeks until we really see something like that but I don't think we'll see anything like that I think it was time. more so because of the way you were trying to explain to me you wanted this to be less apparent mm -hmm. the best way to address that mm -hmm. I feel and also to keep this staying um, you know smooth mm -hmm. is to pick up the cheek I don't want to do the cheek yet I want to do the line because that's about the contour is, is there already you know what I'm saying but if I see the contour maybe it will encourage me to go get the face done so leave it, leave it the way it is. Yeah. We'll just go back to our paper now. We'll stick with what we know. With, with what we know. Okay. And then explain to me on another day. You're saying that the the Botox is two fifty a a pop or something. What are you saying with the um the Juvederm? The Botox is 250 here because you probably need 20 to 25 units. If you use 20, then it's 200. If it's 25, it's 250. Say it again. Botox is measured in units. You would probably need 20 units for your forehead. 20 units for my forehead because these lines, like if I, yeah. and then how soon could I get something like that? Today. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not right now, but later. Fine. <laughs> You're ready. My face is. So I'll share the picture later that we confirmed. I mean, feeling myself back and charging my, trying to charge my phone and stuff. So gonna die. And I'm ready when we get We'll get a phone case for my, for my new Samsung. I'm gonna go right to Verizon. I hope they got a case, a book case. If they don't have it. Normally, I don't do this one. We haven't done it in here before. No, I mean, usually we're downstairs, but it's so cold down there. Yeah, it's been cold everywhere. And I haven't, I didn't, I didn't plan ahead mm -hmm. and um, put the heater on. So, mm -hmm. I think we'll just work with that in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to 
do the bubble time for me. Yeah, I'm gonna see. You'll like it. I'm gonna see. You're gonna love it if yeah. you did it. I'm gonna do it because I don't want no miles on my forehead. Plus, I heard them things last for a long time, like Both three to five is. years. Both in the us? forehead, only in the forehead in this area. If you get those, why well, I'm stuck in this section like this? No, no, pull it out. Just pull it out. I can't move. Oh no, it's not. This chair ain't moving. Forget it. What? It's not moving. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh, it's like forget it. Hammer down. Yeah, forget that. <laughs> Damn, okay. I was trying to put my foot over here and get that comfortable. So I gotta funny. stretch my foot over here to be comfortable. That is very That's strange. funny. All right, let me get my gloves. Okay, okay. There's gloves up there too. Yeah, those are a little thick. Okay. Do you do training for um fillers? Like, um, do I don't. Occasionally, I'll have someone who's just kind of following me, kind of like as an apprenticeship. I want to do something like that. Can you let me know if you'd be interested? Because I have my cosmetology license, my esthetician license. I'm a laser technician certified. Um, I can do laser hair removal, tattoo removal. Um, for injectables, you have to be at least a nurse. Okay. Go so okay, but basically, but you're a doctor, or, or yeah. were you a nurse? No, no, no. I'm a doctor. Doctor, doctor. So yes. do you you have to go for nurse before you could be a doctor? No, no, no. no. I am a full blown doctor all the time, Is and I PhD just decide or I, no, MD, a medical doctor. Okay. I just decided that this is part of what I wanted to do. Okay. But I'm saying to do injections, mm -hmm. you have to be at least a nurse. Okay. So a so, nurse. But if I was to go to school for doctor, my question basically is if I was to go to school for doctor, do they classify you as a, a, doc, a nurse doctor? Or no. Would, a, would I go to school with my goal as nurse or would I go to school as my goal for doctor? Because I want to do, do doctor. Doctor. I want to do doctor for injections, Botox, fillers, so when you, breast implants, butt implants, lift butts, lift so chest. So plastic surgery. At the end of the day. But this is also considered a type of form of plastic surgery because it's filler and no. Botox. They said it's considered a plastic surgery. This is aesthetics. Oh, okay. Okay. But it you still have, have to be to a be... doctor because you're injecting the skin with something that can alter or change it. So when I, when I apply for school, I should be applying for doctor, not for nurse. Well, that's that's we'll have to talk about that offline. Okay. Just because it, it depends on what your apps ultimate goals are. What is it you're trying to accomplish? I want to get to yourself. Plastic and, surgery. And so if it's plastic surgery, then the only way to get there is as a doctor. Okay. So if you get through turn around and do the nurse thing, go straight for the doctor thing and just focus really hard on doctor. Yeah, because you, you don't become a, a nurse to become a doctor. That's what it's I was trying one to one or the other. Because I know this girl who's a nurse and she can do she can write prescriptions. So she's an MP. She's a nurse practitioner. Okay. But she can't do, she, can she also do fillers too? Or no? Yes, she can. Oh, I never asked her. I just know that she was like, I can write prescriptions. I was like, you can write prescriptions too, right? Because you're a full doctor. Mm -hmm. Whoa. That's what I want to be able to do. Not so much the prescriptions, but I want to do the work. I want to I want to stay enhancing. Are you allowed to do your work for your own self as a doctor? Or Absolutely. Not? I'm working for myself right now. Okay. Like, I mean on yourself like if i wanted to do my own fillers in the day if i was taught properly i can do my own fillers or do they suggest you don't do that or they don't care no, you can do I whatever you want don't suggest that you don't that you do that why because you need to be able to have a dexterity to i mean working on yourself is very different from working on other people i seen a nurse do it on facebook or, or a person that was just an assistant or something she was doing her own fillers. she did her whole face you know her whole face was looking Glamorous. I, I, if it were me, I would have somebody else do it. If it was me, I would want to do it for myself, but I would be able to do it for others too. Not so much to save the money portion, but just because it's that's the point. You go to school so you can work on yourself and you can have somebody looking, but you ain't got to touch me. You know, you just pretty much I want to be able to do it. That's my end goal to be able to like work on my own skin. Like if people are doing the hyaluron pen, that's the same thing. It's just without the needle. Yes or no? Hmm. I mean, I want to. If I if I'm going to be going, I'm going to eventually be wanting to do that so for myself. It's the road to becoming a doctor is so difficult that right. you really have to be committed and convicted about being a doctor. And a right. doctor is not about working on yourself; it's about helping other people. Right. So I'm not sure that your goals are really. And I, I think you should think about what it is you're trying to accomplish. I'm trying to get the scar off my face. So if I have to be a doctor to figure out how to do that, that's what I'm doing. And then I also like to get the fillers because I'm not trying to be aging and decaying while I'm trying to work on my face. Okay. We will talk about that later on. Later on. Okay. Okay. 
right. You need me to move this out the way or push it back or turn it more Just move it. Maybe move it out of the way. Okay. Okay. I could put it like this. I wonder if this got charged or not. charger is black. I'm listening to you. What I'm going to do is, is this going to charge? You can work it from whatever. Oh, okay. Let's get started. I'm ready. I can stay like this. Mm -hmm. If I get greasy here, the scalp on the okay. It's okay. That's okay. That's all right. That's your so well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm laughing because that was hilarious. Okay, I'm ready. Let me turn this a little bit more. Mm -hmm. yeah. My grease, I got grease in my Don't, don't worry about the, the wall. Do not worry about the wall. Oh. It's okay. The way I'm positioned is fine and everything. Yeah, you're fine for now. I'll have you move when I need you to. Is the video off now? No, it's on. Okay. Uh, this one is actual recording. This one caught your face. This one didn't catch. This is I can I can edit this one later if you want me to. Still look cute though. Um, I just don't want us recording while I'm injecting you. Hmm? You can have a before, you can have an after. I can't do it anymore? Recording? Of the filler? The line injection into my skin? Right. I want I want to be able to, you can do it before, you can do it after. You can like lead up to it, let me do what I'm doing, then you can come back on. So what we used to do before, you're saying I can't do it anymore. I can't record the your work on my face. Right. I don't want to be recorded today. I don't, I don't want to be recorded. Okay. Y'all, I'll hit y'all back up later. Bye. And this one, this is actually recording. This, this don't record either. I don't know what's recording and what's not recording. All I'm saying is, is that leading up to right now, I'm about to inject in your face. While I'm injecting, I don't want to be recorded. Okay. Like, you don't want your face on there, or you don't mm -hmm. want it to be... Your face wouldn't be on it. It would just be your hands. Yeah, I don't, You don't want that. I don't want it. Everything in there will be blurry because I'm going to drop it. I'm going to brush it. There's so much grease on it from the um, process. My whole face is not, to be honest. I really won't know anything until I'm going to Right here. 
The Botox is 250 in my forehead. I can do my forehead. This line just to make sure it's not going to crease and up under my eye. I'm gonna come back and get that. It's only 250. That I could do, it. but the but the, the Juvederm here is here. It's well here, and she says you could put it here. So I guess later on, if anything happens, I still look young. <laughs> like I really still look young, but. Let her do that. We can try it next time, you know? Like, I would have to see how it looks. I just did a little, everything is, I like the fact that I can move my face. I still see line and definition, but I'm happy. I'm happy because I'm cute. I'm cute because I'm happy. <laughs> All right, so now I'm about to get out of here. Let me show you my outfit. So I'm not really wearing, doing too much. I tried to wear this sweatshirt with this sweater. I like it. I can't really fix it in the back, but I was rushing. I was rushing trying to get it, get out the house. Cause I know I was like, I don't know. I'm about to go grab me a coffee though. But that's the benefits. All right, y'all, I'm about to get out of here right now. Guess what I gotta do? Um, I wanna get some fish from the, I'm thinking get some salmon and just take it home, get some rice, some fish, some rice, get some salad and just eat that. You know I mean, or I can go get it from like a spot, you know, but I don't know, y'all, I feel, I feel kind of cute, but I still have contour. Like, it's interesting that I really didn't realize how much contour I had until I like really looked at it. Like, I, I, I did not realize I had you must be, you know, we use the muscle bones. Cause last time when she did the fillers, I had my contour. I had contour on my face, but this time I didn't do it. And I think that's what happened. I messed myself up, but it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm not, I'm not mad right now. I'm not mad. A little bit swollen, but I'm not mad. Let me order my coffee from Starbucks and then I'm about to get out of here. But I couldn't record anything. I'm coming out now, please.
I'm about to do my makeup application. Not makeup application. <laughs> Take off my makeup. But I might not do it. I don't know. I mean, I could. But I, hold on. Let me figure out what's going on with my other phone. I was, I was actually on a live, but my phone is kind of blurry. Because I have plastic on the screen. Hold on, y'all. This is a dark blemish. Hold on. And I have half of my lip color on. Like, half of it came off because. Mm. 